Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We are going to continue with our plan today, which is to take these power cells here, which are... Two of them are charged. Uh, three of them are completely dead. I'm going to take all power cells back home. Uh, so I'm going to remove these. And I want to go unload power cell. Take that one. And load. That one as well. Unload. Right, I've, I've taken three power cells out. Power is dropping. It's dropping rapidly. 62, 40. Yep, so I'll take that one. Oh, that way. Like that. And there. And there as well. Right, we have no power on board. No oxygen. No nothing. This one is just sat. A dead fish in the water. So we're going to take these and we're going to rush home with them. And then we're going to get them all charged up. And I'm going to make two more. I've got two iron uh, copper ore with me, which I will need for it. And then when we've done that, we're going to come back and we will continue on down that way, which is the way we should have gone first. We went that way and it turned out to be a wrong turn. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we'll, um, we've will we learned from our mistake. We're going to come back and we're going to go the correct direction next time and hopefully be able to actually uh, can get a little bit further. So I'm hoping that I've got sufficient oxygen to get back. And I'm also very conscious of the fact that even when I do get all the way back, um, I've only got to come over all the way over this way, and I may not necessarily have the... Ooh. That is a big old fish thing down there. Um, yeah, once I do get back uh, to the Cyclops, uh, you know, the return journey, because there's no power in there, there may not be any oxygen production online, and that could present a couple of problems. I don't remember... Where was the ghost leviathan? There was a baby ghost leviathan. A little tiny one. Just a little tiny babby that was crawling along. And we encountered him. We, we, had, a, we had a close encounter of the third kind with him. Um, ooh, we're actually we're going to do all right. Getting back again doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. It's only a couple hundred meters over there. So we're not going to have any issues getting through there. Um, it's just getting... We've got to make sure that we get the power cells into the uh, Frith Marine fast enough that we don't like run out of oxygen. That's going to that's be the difficult bit on the return journey. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out. But right now, we want to take this one up in here. I've got nothing unusual around here. This is all looking good. That one... Not really sure why it was doing that. It's a strange thing to do. Our kelp over here is doing really well. That's this uh, ready to harvest, actually. We could harvest some of that. We could do stuff with it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. Power cell chargers. Access power cell charger. That's, uh, that's on zero. So we put those two in there. And then in here, we put two more. Uh, that one's on 100%. I don't want to put in the one that's at 100%. Or that one. The one at 40% I can do. And then I got another one down here. So we got two at 100, three at 100, uh, one and two there, and then I've got two more. Oh no, that one's at 100 as well. I've only got one more that I need to charge, plus I also need to make some, and I don't have... Oh. Well, I didn't think this through, did I? I don't actually... Oh, there is my alien poo. A uh, very valuable alien poo. I don't actually have anything for making a, a locker here, do I? Um... I'm just going to have to get the materials, I think. I think that's how we'll do it. We'll have to take the materials. If I just get this habitat builder here a minute. And let me have a look here. It was interior modules. The, not that one. That one there. I need a table coral sample, which I don't have. Gold, titanium. I have none of this. It's all back at the, the other place. It's all back at the other place. That's all right. We, we can cope with that. We don't actually mind that at all. I'm going to put the repair tool back down there. Because that one's actually quite handy. Um, although, no, 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 um, I'm out of that bit. I don't want to do that at all. There, right. Now I can come back over here, and what space have I got? I got one acid mushroom, so I need more acid mushrooms. So I will take one of those. That makes four seeds. And then another one to make another four seeds. So that's... Eight seeds that I could put over there, and then I could make some more creek vine, actually. If I pick these up, like this, can I pick them all up? Inventory full. Can't quite make it with all of them. That's all right. We'll, we'll, um, we'll put these in the middle, 
And we do it like this, look. I'll go here. There's the seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. There's two lines of them. Then I can pick up one acid mushroom there. And then we go to the creep vine. So I've got... Creep vine is grown. I can pick up a creep vine seed cluster. So that I come back down here to the planter and I can plant that one in there. And then I can pick up... Actually, if I pick up one more, I'm not going to have room to pick up one more. So why have I got a seed cluster on one? And not a seed cluster. I got a creep vine there and I got the seed cluster. But this one is just creep vine. I'm not sure. That seems that... Did I... I planted... One, I planted a seed cluster and one, I planted just a creep vine. It might be that planting the seed gives you everything and the other one doesn't. Let's take some stuff indoors. I can put a couple bits into the base here. How are we doing for the charging? So, um, let's have a look at this one. I can actually check this one. That's 100%. That one is on 80%. I've got one more that I need to charge, haven't I? That one there. So we've got one, 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 one. Right. I need four acid mushrooms. So the rest of them I can put in here. I can put several in here. Like that. As one, two... One, two, three, four, there's six, so that would be one spare battery as well. Except that I don't have, well, I suppose I could take it with the copper. All right, we'll do it like that. We'll, we'll take a spare, and then I'm going to pick up four from outside anyway, so I can drop four more down. Like that, and we can come out here. If I put the seed clusters and stuff in the locker, I don't think that's actually going to work. So I just want to pick these up, like that. And then I want to get a seed cluster off of here, like that. Come down here. Use that in the planter. Right, that's perfect. So I got those growing. That's creep vine. That's creep vine. Creep vine seed cluster. That's creep vine. Oh, it's, a, it's because it's a creep vine sample. Right, that's creep vine. It says creep vine. Growing. And growing. It's because this was a creep vine sample. This was the wrong one. I shouldn't have used this one. I need to get another seed and put instead of this one. So we'll take a couple of those. We'll take another one. I don't think it's actually going to store. I don't think it stores in the locker either. And as I don't have anything to do anything with. I'm, I'm going to put them in the locker. Just to see. But I, I'll, it's already gone to old creep vine sample. I'll eat that. You know, I, was, I may as well eat it. We can't actually do anything with it, so I may as well just eat them up. Little tiny, tiny bit of food value. And not much else. There's nine of them that I've chopped off. Right, ten. You can take ten out of it um, off a creep vine sample. So now what I want is... Well, I want to put the knife away, and then I want to pick up a creep vine seed cluster, and then come back down here, use the planter, and plant that one. So I now have actual creep vine rather than creep vine samples so if you get a seed cluster growing then you get uh, creep vine seeds growing outside plus we've got eight acid mushrooms in the middle that's gonna work out nicely let's just see how our power cells are doing those were completely empty up there these down here what are you doing you are on 100 and 100 so there is two of them and then you two here are 86 and 100 I've just got three left to go as soon as they're done we can leave we're going to race back to the Frith Marine. We're going to jump in. We're going to power it up. We're going to put the other cell. We're going to make another cell as well. It is going to use a bit of power to make the batteries and that. But I can't actually make a battery back here because I don't have any of the materials. Oh, actually, do I? There is one thing that I can do. I can check in here. I, I don't think I do. I don't think I got it in the storage. In here. No, I don't. I've got a very rotten creep vine sample there. I do have some water. I'll take those two. They could be useful. There we go. They are all fully charged. All I gotta do now is make some, they're, they're just closing up. I just gotta make some batteries when we get back to the Frith Marine and that is where we're going now. So we wanna head down this way. There is the Frith Marine over there with Betty No Mates. We need to head up the tunnel and yeah, it's that way and then it bears around to the right, doesn't it? I hope so. I really hope so or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. And this is where the cave opens out. This is also where, there it is. There is the ghost Leviathan. Hopefully it's going to leave us alone. I need it to leave me alone. Dive, 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 dive! I can hear it in the back. No, it's going to get me! I'm scared. I don't want it to get me. Please don't get me. I know that I can do something, but I'm just trying to swim away from it. 
Okay, it didn't get me. It left me alone. <laughs> okay, I, I, I know that I can actually withstand it nibbling on my toes a little bit, but at the same time, that's only a little baby, and that makes me incredibly scared. It really does. That, that really does terrify me. There was a hot spot there. I don't know if... Is this anything to do with the lava zone here? Is it? I have, I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to have a little look around here. I'm not really sure if this is anything to do with the lava zone. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I love it when he says the oxygen production offline. It's just the way that his voice rises at the end. It just sounds really cool when he says it. I don't know why. It just does. Right, power source. And it doesn't actually matter. Oh, you know, it would help if I just did that. There we go. Power cell. And again. And again. There we go. Right, power cell's going in. This is more like it. Now we can get stuff planted and we can get stuff going. So... Uh, put that one in there, and one in there, and then one in there as well. Perfect. Okay, so I got some things. We got some things ready. I also want to go in here, and I need to make two batteries. One there. And I need to make one more. I know this is going to use up a little bit of power, but it's worth it because we're going to get a full power cell. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, no, 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 no. I'm, I, oh, thank goodness for that. I thought I didn't have the silicon rubber. Um... And I'd have had a job to make that anyway, I think. But anyway, no, we got the power cell. We have got the final power cell. There we go. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Right, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got six of them. And I'm. what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to take this one here. This is power 100%. A 94, 48. That one doesn't have power. Right. We go to here, and then we'll do that, and I'll swap over those batteries. So the power is on 30%. We are just going to have a very quick look around just a bit above us, because I think the kyanite, it grows in like a lava zone. And I'm not really, I, I don't know what the lava zone looks like, but there's like a hot spot right there. So is that anything, well, it said kyanite grows there. It, it, it appears there. Now we've got some table coral here. I don't know if I need any more. I'm going to take some anyway. Ooh, <gasps> double samples. We got two. Ideal, look at that. Okay, now we're talking. Double samples. There we go. One, and there's the other one. So I got, I got four of them now. There is that big bad thing over there. He really does look big and bad, doesn't he? Let me just take these. There we go. There's six. Six table corals. Get in there. Let's get some more. I know that I've actually got a few on board, but you can never have too many table corals, apparently. And now, where is the kyanite? It should be here. It should be here. I've got uh, lithium. More lithium. Table coral. Uh, more lithium. Lithium is good, actually. I, I, I do have a shortage of lithium. It's a tad toasty over there. There is. A, it has been noted by Frithgar that it is a little bit warm there. Look around. There doesn't seem to be anything here. There's nothing that I need. There's nothing that I want. So we are going to have to power up. And we're going to head off down that way. Now, we cannot get the... Um... Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Right, we cannot take Betty below... Uh, what is it? 900 meters. She cannot drop below 900 meters at the moment. Right, I can put some table corals in here. How many can I put in? Can I put all of them? I can indeed. I can fit every single one of them in there. Uh, let me go into this storage. And I'll put the salt and the lithium in there. And I'm also going to put most of the water as well. I'm going to keep one just in case. And also I'm going to leave two of those and the hat. I don't, I don't really need the hat. And let's go, shall we? Let me just have a bite to eat a minute. Right, I have had my bits to eat, and here we go. Pilot the sub, right. Engine powering up. Engine powering up. I love the sound of this thing. The Frith Marine kicking into gear. It just sounds so epic. It really does. The, just the, the way he tells you it's powering up, and then the way he actually does power it up, and... I think my driving is leaving a little bit to be desired. Let's, let's have a look around a minute. What, what if I hit? I bump something. Um, didn't I? I hit something. What, what have I bumped into? I think it might have been that down there. 
I don't think there's anything else. I'm pretty sure it was that. Right. I've got... It's sort of a, a warning. I think it must have been that. I think that, that that's the only bit that it could have been. So yeah, we want to keep going this way. We want to go downhill. And we're on 770. I've got 100 meters that the... Um, the, the, the prawn, Betty No Mates. Our, our dear prawn Betty is only able to go another 100 meters down. And I'm very concerned that this is going to cause us some problems. I got a warper over there. I am extremely concerned about this because I need to be able to... I, I think I need Betty to be able to get the Kyanite. This is something that people have been telling me. Now, what do I do? If there's a warper down there, what can I do about the warper? I mean, I can put them in stasis and I can, like, teleport them and launch them and stuff like that, which is... It's, obviously, it's fun. Obviously, it's great fun doing things like that. We've got a, a big nasty thing up there. i got more nasties over there. And there's another nasty there. What's with the nasties? Let's move over this way. Uh, 800 meters. There's a big old dead fish down there. There's a very big dead fish. This is looking... We got a heat zone there. Okay, it's looking promising around here, but I'm also very concerned that um, bad stuff can happen to us. Right. Let's have a look. What we got in the way of fish? I'm still not in the lava zone that I want to be. Am I? Is this, even, is this the lava... I don't know if I'm in the lava zone. Slower it down a bit. There, I got that thing over there. Um, they don't seem to be bothering me at the moment. If they leave me alone, I'm more than happy to leave them alone as well. Maybe we can come to some sort of mutual understanding of leaving each other aloneness. That sort of thing. Is, it, is that Would that be an acceptable mutual understanding, um, strange fishes? Now, we've got the alien stuff over there. If, hang on, I just want to have a look back out here a minute because, yeah, we've got alien stuff there. I think I went out that way, and that was where the whole alien thing was. Um, but then I came back from there, and I think I went that way. I think that's the way that I need to go. So we've got a... Yeah, there's there's a big dead... It, it almost looks like a cross between a frog and a leviathan something. There's nothing down here. There's rubies there. There's other materials around, but there isn't what I want. And then I'm looking on the back here. We're sort of just... We're ahead slow at the moment. We are very ahead slow. Now I've got these... These are hot spots around here. Can I go to these? Is there kyanite on them? I don't see anything. I don't see what might even res closely resemble kyanite. I got that ugly thing over there. It's not very pretty, that one. I think I need to go this way. Right, what are we at? 830 meters. Uh, I don't know what that is over there. And it's actually making me quite nervous because it looks a lot different to anything I've seen so far. I'm gonna stop here a minute. I'm gonna turn the engines Engine off. Powering down. We're at 900. We're 831 meters, 99 percent. Come out of there. I don't know what to do next. I'm, I'm very nervous. I'm 830 meters. I'm going out on foot. Well, I'm, I'm going out on foot. I'm, go I'm going out on... Um... Thing. This thing. Because I don't want to risk bringing the prawn down unless I know that it can't drop below the set level. What is that? I don't even know what that is. That, that kind of looks like brine pools. I mean, I'm guessing maybe the bioluminescence is just giving the brine pools a different color down here. We've got... It's, this is below 900. I cannot bring the prawn down here. This is too deep for the prawn. That is... Absolutely... Magical. Seriously, look at that. That is quite possibly one of the most stunning sights that I've seen under the water so far. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's genuinely fantastic, that really is. Deep shroom there. Um, that's nothing to do with kyanite. 
Um, really, that is absolutely fun. That is just fabulous to look at, isn't it? That is absolutely amazing. I love this game. I really do. The stuff you see is just absolutely they've really done an absolutely incredible job of capturing like the essence of a completely strange and forbidding planet i don't want to go in it I'm, I'm worried something's going to come leaping out of the the brine pool there and grab me i'm pretty certain it's brine it's just a different color because of the different um bioluminescence on here um people have pointed out that this is actually very realistic with the bioluminescence type things because you would have in real life um, the red on Betty No Mates would disappear the quickest. That that would be the colour that would disappear from the spectrum faster than anything else. Um, as you go deeper, it's why she seems to be a very strange colour whenever we're under the water with her. Um, and so yeah, and also you got the bioluminescence in different places, which is like glowing in different colours, and that's giving everything a different like sheen to it. Which again is absolutely awesome. It's this kind of level of attention to detail that is really making this game for me. It's absolutely incredible. But what I want right now is Kyanite. I want to find Kyanite. There is a waterfall here. And in theory, we should be able to get Kyanite between where we are at the moment. Okay. That thing I don't really want chewing on me. Um, I, I really am not in a mood to be chewed upon by anything at all, really. Uh, there is a giant... You stay away from me. But yeah, Kai and I, in theory, I can't drop below 900 with Betty. I can go lower than 900 with this one. I'll limit with this one. Let me just go in here a minute. Um, we can go down to 1,300 meters with the Frith Marine. But anywhere below this level, uh, Betty over here is... Let's just have a look at the upgrades a minute. Um, hull reinforcement, storage, storage. Yeah, I need to remove one of those storage modules at some point soon. And I will need to replace it with a depth upgrade. I, I could remove some of this stuff and put it into other storage, actually. We might be glad of this. So yeah, I'll be removing one of those storage modules... And we'll be doing other things with it. So let's just dump this lot in here. There we go. And in this one as well. Load of silver ore. And then in this one as well. Bit of silver there. Right. So I've still got two silver on me. I'll, I'll have to go and put those downstairs. Um, she goes to 900 meters. And is it in the modification station that I used to upgrade her? There. Exosuit Mark II. I need the three kyanite. I've got the rest of it, but where do I get the three kyanite? And I can't get deep enough to be able... I, well, I can't find any kyanite. It must be around here somewhere. I really... I don't actually know. I apologise for not knowing. I know that it does frustrate you sometimes. Um, see, sometimes you like to see me struggle a bit because it makes you feel better about your own struggles in your own games. But other times, my struggles do tend to frustrate you an awful lot. And I don't blame you because you see me just frustrate... you. Know, Struggling with the same thing for absolutely ages. It's going to get annoying for anybody to watch. So I do apologise for that. And I am trying to like get through it as quickly as I can. Uh, gold down there, by the look of it. Is that gold? Yes, that is gold. Um, so I've got more of these things. La I know that it's got to be in the lava zone. And I don't know if I'm actually in the lava zone. This is, this is the only problem. It's a little bit toasty there. So I, I, I don't, I don't want to be in that bit. And then I've got those things there. I cannot go down into the brine. Can I go this way? Uh, I'm wondering if I should go... Well, do I want to go on up through that tunnel towards the facility there? We've already gone and explored that facility. I didn't see anything in the floor in it. I don't think we will. I think I'm actually getting a little bit too far away from the Frith Marine. I think what we do need to do is continue on. I don't think we're going to find Kyanite here. I don't think this is actually the lava zone that I need to be in. I think we need to continue down. Down is the way. I've got rubies and more corals and stuff around this one. But again, I don't see anything blue. I don't see any crystal-like structures of any kind. Other than familiar ones, which is there, there, uh, there, 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 the lithium there, and the lithium there, and the rubies. But there is no other crystalline structures here. So going on that, there is... Actually, what's this up here? 
Is this a different crystalline structure? I don't think it is. I've got um, Chewy Boy over there. And then I've got those crab things over there. But no, I don't see any un unless it's... This isn't Kyanite, is it? Is this it here? No, that's not Kyanite. Right, let's go back over to the Frith Marine. We'll take it down a little bit. We'll go towards the underwater jelly tree. There's the jelly shroom tree down there. We'll go down that way. We cannot use Betty until we have done some upgrading. We've got to do that first before we can do anything else. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Let's start this bad boy up again. Here we go. Engine powering up. Oh, that is so epic. That is so seriously cool. Right. We bring this one forward a bit and we'll lower it down as we go. Let's see. Right, I'm looking at the top here. I love that great big skeleton thing over there. That does look very cool. Uh, but no, I want to be looking under here so that I can see my tail end down here. And we can start low. Ooh, steady. I don't want to get too close to that one. But no, I can just keep going this way. Oops. Uh, what if I just hit? I just hit something. Have I hit something? I'm not actually sure. Oh, uh, I was, I was gonna, I'm not actually sure, but I think I've just bumped that there. It doesn't seem too bad, though. Seems we're all right. It seems mostly it was the jellyfish. Let's come on down a bit. I'm over here, and... Right, the only problem with where I am now, I'm at 890 meters, I cannot use my... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't actually want to go any lower. I cannot use the Frith Marine. Uh, the, sorry, uh, I cannot use Betty No Mates here. Betty will not be able to do this. So we're going to travel forward a bit. Bumping into jellyfish as we go. And I've, do I want to just have a look around? I might have a look around the tree. We'll go to the other side of the tree first. Once we've travelled over here to the other side of the tree, we will then um, just stop a minute and we'll have another little scout around and see if there's anything that we can find. Because this tree is absolutely fantastic to look at. So I'd like to have a look around here. There's another hot spot there. <gasps> ooh! Is that what I think? Is, is it? Ooh. I'm listening very intently as well. I don't want anything nasty to come and chew us. I don't hear anything that could potentially chew on us. Please have nothing chewable. Well, I, I'm, I'm chewable. Please have nothing that's going to do the chewing. That's the that's the important bit. This tree this, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is quite simply the most stunningly beautiful part of this game that I have seen yet. I don't know why... There is something absolutely wondrously beautiful about this tree right here. And I'm also hoping that there is something wondrously um, kyanite about this tree. This is too deep. If I bring the, pr the prawn down here, it's just going to implode. And I don't really want an imploded prawn. That's, um, I yeah, that's just not going to be pleasant. We'll have to rebuild the whole thing. Ooh, I can scan. What am I scanning? What am um, I? A giant cove tree. This whole thing is a scannable machine. A uh, uh, machine tree. Giant cove tree. Right, what is it? I, I, let's just see if this is actually. It might actually be useful. Is there anything in here? It's just, just life forms. Oh, it's it's under seat there. Giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove. The only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in the surface. Ghost leviathan eggs. The tree branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Ho-ho! <laughs> Those... that's... Tiny little babby ghost leviathans! Okay, everything on this planet, the, the whole ecosystem is tightly interwoven together. Everything, everything is joined together. There is no part of this planet that seems to be, like, independent of any other part. It is all one giant, to really, really tightly knit ecosystem. 
is absolutely incredible. It really is. And, and yeah, I, I, I am aware that it is just like made up, but at the same time, wow, it is just amazing. I want to go. To, I want to visit this place for real. And I also really don't want to go down in there, even if there is kyanite in there, because it would be too dangerous. Um, which way do I? Well, I don't want to go that way, do I? There is nothing. This is like the most peaceful, beautiful place ever. This is amazing. This really is. Can I? I what was that? It's okay. It's okay. Right there. <gasps> there. Is that it? Is that what I need? If I go on, is, is that kyanite? Clearing a bit. No, that's not kyanite. I thought for one precious moment that I'd seen the kyanite and it was just below the surface. But that is not the kyanite that we need. I need to go back into the Frith Marine and then we need to head over that way and have a look over there. Maybe I can find it there. Maybe, just maybe, I can find this elusive material and I will be able to make the depth upgrade for the prawn and we'll be able to continue on. Right, take a breather. I'll tell you what, let's go and grab a little bit of food and water as well while we're at it, and then we can go back to it with a vengeance. Right, we have done that with a vengeance. Let us climb back down the ladder, and we are away again. Right, I'm going to need you. Disembark the Cyclops. I already brought out that one. Why is it not still here? There we go. And... I seen a blue light over here. I don't know if it was the blue light that I actually needed to see. Because uh, you look at the crystal, in the picture of the crystal, and it's blue. Now, it's very warm over here. This is very warm. It, it does feel like a lava zone. It does feel like it should be a lava zone. There's some nickel there. I'm sure it'll be useful. But I don't see... Where is my kyanite? I can't find it anywhere. I'm guessing this isn't the lava zone. I guess we need to go and um, venture deeper still into this zone. Let's break that one up. I got a bit of gold. Actually, gold would probably be useful. Um, a few bits of gold means that we can make some more chips and stuff. Uh, get that one. That's silver. I got loads of silver. It's the gold that I want. Getting a bit of No, that's, that's still silver. Another, another piece of gold. Right, at the moment it just seems to be warm rather than hot, but at the same time, it's likely to get too hot fairly quickly. There's another piece of gold. That's going to enable us to make uh, a couple of extra bits should we need to. A couple of extra chips, HUD chips, that sort of thing. Um, right, I'm looking around here and I see nothing that resembles a crystal of any kind. I'm looking right, I go right in close, and there's nothing down here. No. We're going to go back into the Frith Marine, and we're going to continue onwards. We're going to go forward a little bit further. Just, just a little bit more. He didn't say his speech. It's because I've um, had him say it too recently. Okay, let's go back on here. Engine powering up. Okay, we'll continue on. I'm going to go through this way. So far, there's... Oh, there's a bit of... Um, maybe that's a bit of crystal. Nope, that's not actually a bit of crystal, I don't think. I think that is just another jellyfish on the floor. Yeah, that is... It's another one of those jelly things growing on the floor. So we're dropping down more. I'm, the actual Frith Marine is going to go below 900 meters in a minute. Go on, there we go, 900. We've made 900. And what do we got over here now? I See, I really, I'm quite happy where we are at the moment because there's nothing nasty. And steering the Frith Marine around the nasty creatures is considerably more difficult than steering Billy Nomates around. He just races through. He can outrun most of them. Uh, maybe not the um, the Ghost Leviathan, but he does tend to, not the Ghost Leviathan, the, the other one, the Reaper. He, he doesn't seem to outrun the Reaper itself, but he does seem to outrun just about everything else. Let's bring it over this way. And things are going a lot deeper. See, this one here, this one will go deeper. But the, the, the actual Frith Marie, not the Frith Marie, uh, Betty Nomates, she doesn't like the idea of going any deeper. I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to explore on foot again. Engine is this cowardly? This is quite possibly could be considered cowardly to keep having, um, you know, just sort of exploring slowly on foot and instead of just, you know, blundering through. I don't care if it's considered cowardly. I absolutely do not care. 
Right? This is me not caring. See? Out we go. This, this is me absolutely not caring if it's cowardly. Because there's a long way down. And I don't want to get stuck with a broken Frithmarine. Now what? Um, that is about to get a lot deeper and I have still yet to find the Kyanite. I don't know where it is. Is it up here? This doesn't seem like a lava zone, to be honest. But the la what it says about the lava zone. If I go under there, is that going to hurt me? Uh, okay, now look. We're... We're a thousand meters under the level under under the floor of the ocean. The, 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 well, the level of the ocean. But look at that. That is very very deep, and a very very long way away. And quite frankly, I'm looking at that and I can't see anything at all. And I'm getting decidedly no. I'm really am getting quite nervous about that. I'm, I'm sort of like I can feel little tendrils of fear and. It just, just sort of creeping up over the, my spine and over the back of my head. And it's not a pleasant feeling. It's absolutely not a pleasant feeling. I feel like there's something down there that is waiting and watching. And it's going to be dining on me soon. Um, it, this is really not a pleasant sensation at all. I, I, I'm expecting something to come out of the, out of the depths. Let's just grab that a minute. What have we got? We've got a bit of lead. I really am. There's something down there. I know that there has got to be something down there. Can I go in here? Let's just take a quick look. Uh, it seemed to hurt me at the moment. Is this... Have I missed the kyanite? Because I should be going underneath this stuff. Is this like the brine pools, but not quite so briny, and so it doesn't hurt? It doesn't actually hurt me at all? What's that? Is there something? No, there's not something. Where is this guy? I, I, I need the kyanite. At the same time, I also need to venture downwards. A thousand meters under the ocean. We're a thousand meters down. Um, I've got another sandstone outcrop there. The lava zone! I found the lava zone. I found it. And I'm absolutely terrified. I'm right on the edge of it. And I, I don't know why, but there is something that is... It's, it's your fault. It's everybody that is watching. It is entirely your fault that I am feeling like this. Because you've been telling me there is something else in the deepest, darkest depths. And it is something that I should be scared of. And, you know, it, it is nothing compared... You know, I thought that the re... I thought that the... I... I... I, 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 I thought that the sharp tooth was, um, was, was scary and dangerous. Okay? Engine powering up. I thought that a lot of the other things were scary and dangerous. And I really did. And, and I, I've overcome my fear. I have, I have, I have battled all sorts of creatures. I have conquered my fears. I have faced my fears. I got a reaper in stasis. And then, after you suggest that I do things like stasis a reaper and scan the thing, possibly the most terrifying thing I've ever done and possibly the most epic thing I've ever done at the same time, then, only then do you tell me that there is actually things in the deeps. There are things in the very deep parts of this world that make the reaper look like a kitten. And now I'm genuinely, absolutely terrified. At, you know, as we go deeper, I'm getting more and more nervous. I am getting very, very nervous. The deeper we go, the more nervous I become. And I don't like this sensation at all. I really don't. There's something here, and it is just waiting to leap out and devour me mercilessly. And I don't, I'm not in the mood for being devoured mercilessly. I'm not lunch. Okay? I'm, I'm just putting this out there. I'm, I'm just... I'm just letting everybody know. This is just going... I'm, I'm laying it on the table right now. I am not lunch. I don't feel like I should be lunch. I don't deserve to be... What is that? What is that thing there? Can I see it? There. What is that? That right there. What is it? Is that that leech thing you were talking about? Or is that a leech thing that is going to leech me? Engine 
powering down. I don't know what that is. I'm going out to investigate. Oh, I can scan it from in here. I can scan. I can do it safe. Lava, lava. Great. Indigenous life form. Lava, lava. Let us see what a lava, lava is. Uh, there we go. A grub like species which appears to lack sight and smell, but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Capable of attaching to a smooth surface and generating high pressure suction, will release if it comes under sufficient strain. Thick scales protect from extreme temperatures. The lava lava lacks a traditional digestive system. Instead, it powers its internal processes directly from the energy it consumes. Attracted to energy sources of all kinds, draws energy from its prey to survive. Avoid when piloting vehicles. Remove to conserve batteries. Great. I have a lava lava on me and is busy sucking out all the power from us. We're going to go down here. How can I get rid of this thing? I don't really want to um, punch it with this one because I'm kind of worried it's going to damage the Cyclops. At the same time, I might need to. Where is this lava lava? Where is it? Uh, right, I see one there. Is there another one around? Let's see if I can punch it off. There. Boom! Is that going to hurt it? Go away. There. Oh, wow. Um, is that a lot of lava lavas? There seems to be a number of these creatures here. What is this? There is one there. I don't like you. Oh, he's, he's going for the light source. Let me do that. There's a warper over there. Now, uh, I was to... Oh, yes, I remember now. Somebody said to me that I need to remove the batteries from this bad boy over here before I leave it when I'm in the lava zone. And we have now reached the lava zone. I'm confident that this is actually the lava zone that we're in. Um, and what I need to do is I need to go and get some kyanite. Somehow, some way. Let's go into here. Let's get some energy back. Uh, not energy. Let's get some water back. We've got just enough time to one quick excursion out into the lava zone. Uh, what do we got over here? Nope. There's, we've got rubies everywhere down here. It's a shame we don't need more rubies, really. We don't, we don't seem to have anything that we want to do with rubies now. So I've got... I need to look around. I got, uh, ooh, I, I got something else I can scan. That one. Red eye eye. Eye eye eye. Eye eye mate. There we go. Right, I've got I've scanned the eye eye. And Nope. I want to come down here. In the lava zone. Where is my kyanite? Please have it here somewhere. I am eleven hundred meters down. Eleven hundred meters below the surface. Can you believe this? That is insane. That's a very long way down. And I still don't see any kite. I see that thing over there. There's actually several of them here. Um, what happens if they latch onto me? Do I become lunch for them? I don't really want to be lunch. Um, I still don't see... Where? How is there no kyanite? There's a warper. I'm going to stay away from that warper. I'm going I'm to run over this way. I have 40, uh, 147 seconds left. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. I don't want to run out of oxygen. I've found more stuff I can scan. That is not what I'm after. Not this time. I'm after a crystal. A kyanite crystal. But I've no idea how to get it. It's further down. 120 seconds left. I'm very good at watching my oxygen now. I never used to do this. I never used to be constantly on the ball with my oxygen. I feel I've made some serious progress. I really do. I know that I, I, I am sort of blowing my own trumpet a bit here, but I, I am proud of the progress that I have made myself in this. I'm, I really am. I, I feel that I have done well to make the progress that I have made in this game so far. I've got a another, a, another fish here. Come here. Come here, fish. I'll scan you. You could just stay still long enough for me to actually scan. Oh, there we go. Ideal. Right, a magmarang. That is actually a very cool name. Um, 
Cool names aside, though, I still do not see the valuable crystal that I... What's that? Is that what I'm after? Copper ore. And not that it would do any good, because I think the... Um, I can only go to 900 meters. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's another one over there. There are too many of those things around here. And there are a lot of the um, the little uh, sucker type fish things as well. This I got no I don't see where the kyanite is. I absolutely don't. But anyway, we have made it to the lava zone. We've gotten to the lava zone. I feel we're making some actual decent progress. We've we we've, we've like we've we've continued on our adventure and we've we've gotten somewhere that I said that I wanted to get to and we've done it successfully and I'm very pleased. Very very pleased. Just have a look on here a minute and go there. The only thing that I would like is a scanner room on my Cyclops. If I could have a scanner room on a Cyclops, I'd be a very, very happy person right now. Could I get... Could I build, like, a base down here? Could I build a base right there? Nuclear reactor, the whole the whole shebang right there. And then use that to scan further down into the caves. Is that a pos... Is that possible? Is it, is it doable? I think I've come too far to just do a quick run back um, on foot. I don't think that would... I don't think that's possible. But, yeah, I'm looking around here. I don't see any sign of kind. I'm going to have a look for this. I'm going to look for this next time. Okay, I'm not going to do it today. We have come far enough. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Next time, we will venture further down into the lava. And I'm very concerned about these lava lavas, which are going to be consuming all of our power. Uh, we'll have to watch out for that. But we'll, we'll deal with that next time. So until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.